You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. We kick off your 11 minutes of nonstop news right now with a live look outside through the lens of our thunder truck. We have team coverage for you this morning, helping you get out the door. Chesley could even see some flooding today. That's absolutely right. Because of that heavy rain and the winds, that will be our major threat for today. There is the possibility for some severe weather. We'll talk about that in the full forecast straight ahead. There is a lot of heavy wind and rain out there impacting drivers this morning. Yeah, everybody's getting a little bit of this this morning. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes helping you get ready for your drive. He's in the Thunder Trek. Jerry, what are you seeing out there right now? Well, we are on 316. We're actually facing eastbound, but I want to give you a look at westbound traffic. You can see over to the left there the flashing lights. There is a crash that is blocking all the lanes. Traffic is making it by in the emergency lane. Traffic making it by on the shoulder. So it is just trickling by. The backup goes on way back beyond Sugarloaf Parkway. So that's the situation. If you're leaving the Lawrenceville area, trying to head into town using 316, we're near Boggs Road. So just be aware that uh, you might want to plan an alternate route. Maybe use Sugarloaf Parkway to get to I-85 and travel in that way. We have seen ponding out on the roadways in several spots. Um, we have also seen GDOT crews out clearing out the drains in an attempt to get rid of that ponding as quickly as it comes up. So just uh, rain is now moderate. We have seen heavy pockets of rain during the course of the morning. We have also seen pretty frequent lightning, a lot to deal with out here on the roadways. Another look, that's 316, that traffic coming at you, 316 westbound, trying to make it to I-85 near Boggs Road around a wreck that has all lanes closed, traffic making it by on the shoulder. Back to you guys. I'm Christy Diaz out on Woodland Drive in southeast Atlanta. I'm on the scene of what was a house fire. And as Jerry was talking about the conditions, I can attest to that firsthand. What should have been a 15 minute drive to get here took at least twice as long. Fire crews were able to get this fire under control very quickly. They said within about five minutes. The only thing that hindered them was also the rain um, in terms of their response time. There is a lot of ponding on the roads, especially these back roads and side roads. Uh, so you do need to be careful as you're getting out here. What happened at this home, the captain that I, who I just spoke to about 10 minutes ago uh, said this is a possible lightning strike. And it hit the bedroom and the bathroom and part of the kitchen. Luckily, the one person inside and their pet were able to get out safely. Uh, nobody needed to be rescued, and they were able to get this fire under control in a matter of minutes. So now they're packing up their things, getting ready to roll out. But it is a good reminder that it's hard for us as crews to get here and fire crews to even get around in this messy rain this morning. And the lightning strike is out there, and it is a danger, so it's a good idea to be prepared. Liza, over to you for any school closing. Thanks, Christy. Of course, we want you to stay safe as well. And of course, our first responders out in the field responding this morning. But we want to turn, as Christy mentioned, back to school closures because we know this is a major impact for many of you waking up this morning. Now, this is not an exhaustive list because I just checked. We have nearly 20 school systems who've announced closures this morning. But among those, Griffin Spalding County Schools, Troop County Schools, Pike County Public Schools, Butts County Schools, and Thomaston Upson Schools. And we want to move to some of the delays that we're also seeing this morning as well. Again, not an exhaustive list, but Rome City Schools, Gordon County Schools, Gilmer County Schools, Heard County Schools, and Pickens County Schools among those that have announced a bit of a delay. So you want to head over to your district page or you can head over to 11alive.com where we are compiling all the info you need to know minute by minute as we get these updates throughout the course of the morning. A lot of times we see impact to after school activities too, so we'll be updating that info, but we have it pinned on our main page. You can see the school closure sign right there, 11alive.com, or even easier, text the word closings to 404-885-7600. Again, that word is closings, 404-885-7600. We're going to keep you posted throughout the day on the impact. Guys, back to you.
All right, Liza, thank you. And that was a look at your top headlines. All right, Chesley, it's been raining for hours now. Yes, it has. And uh, since last night, we've been seeing that rain starting to intensify just a little bit. And we're starting to see some of these thunderstorms as they cross the border begin to weaken somewhat. We still got the heavy rain that we're dealing with, also with those gusty winds as well. Some of the heavy rain right now in the metro area. You can see just to the south of the city over into Henry County, headed toward McDonough. We got some very heavy rain coming down, a few lightning strikes here and there. So you'll hear a couple claps of thunder. That'll be it. Nothing severe, nothing severe as of yet in our area. Most of that has been down to the south of us. Very widespread as far as the moderate rain and some heavy rain embedded in a few of those. You can see over toward Car uh, Calhoun, Ludeville, up toward Ella J. Dalton as well. Got a few heavy pockets of some rain there. We're going to see another little line move through the area, already starting to enter into the state. You see over toward Bremen. Then this stretches back into Alabama, over toward Alexander City. That was going to continue to push into the east, or push over toward the east and push it to our area as well. I suspect heavy rain will be off and on at least through about 8 or 9 o'clock before it begins to push further over toward the east. As far as the severe weather goes, that threat is higher down to the south of us. We have a level 1 threat uh, just south of the city where isolated strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. Our our major threat with this would be the heavy rain and also the damaging winds. Low threat for tornadoes around here and not really worried about any hail at all. Look at the temperatures starting to warm up. Started out in the 30s up here to the north and east, but now starting to see those temperatures in the 40s, already in the 50s at Peachtree City, already in the 60s down in Thomaston. I think we're going to hit an early high today. 61 degrees will be our afternoon high temperature, but we'll hit it around noon and then we'll watch that temperature begin to trail off just a little bit as we head toward the 3 o'clock hour. Drier. We'll have mostly cloudy skies out there. 54 degrees will be our afternoon temperature. Uh, by then, of course, and okay, we'll dry up tomorrow. We'll get another dry day Thursday, and then more heavy rain comes back to us as we head into Friday. Continuing your 11 minutes of nonstop news in Atlanta. No right on red. A big change could be in the works as city council members take steps to protect pedestrians. In council's first meeting of the new year, three members proposed a resolution that would prohibit turning right at red lights. It would be for areas in downtown Atlanta, Midtown, and Castleberry Hill. We'll keep a close eye on this one as it moves through council. And happening today in Atlanta, Fulton and DeKalb counties are working to improve access to health care. They're announcing a new agreement with Grady Health System. It would provide funding to Grady for an increased focus on health equity and access. Neighborhoods have been left without health care options close by since Atlanta Medical Center closed more than a year ago. The hope is this money will go toward opening some new clinics. Chesley. All right, we have the rain over us right now, but we still have a long way to go. You can see that rain still stretches all the way back into almost Jackson, Mississippi. That's going to be with us right on through the morning. In fact, we don't suspect that rain to begin to taper off until we get to the noon hour today. There'll be a few isolated showers around. 61 degrees will be our high temperature. We'll hit that at noon. By 3 o'clock, we're down to 54 degrees. We'll have the clouds in place, maybe a few breaks in those clouds. Some wraparound moisture could be in the area where we see an isolated shower or two. That could taper off as a few flurries in our area as well as temperatures cool down tonight. We are getting ready to hand it off to the Today Show, but we are continuing our live weather coverage for you this morning on 11 Alive Plus. Just download the app right to your Roku, Fire or Apple TV. All right, we see there are multiple traffic delays impacting the entire metro area. If you have the option to stay home this morning, do so as well as keeping an eye on those school closures and delays. Go ahead and join us on the 11 Alive app.